In this video, I am coloring with the Spectrum to Wire Adventures in Color Discovery Kit. The first thing I do is lay down the shadows with Raw Sienna GB7. I like to use flicking motion so that the blend is smoother. The reason I block out all my shadows first is because alcohol-based markers get darker the more you layer them. So by doing the shadows first, I ensure that my highlights will be, well, light in comparison to my shadows. In the areas I want to be the lightest, I go over very lightly with the marker in a crisscross fashion as you see here. I use this crisscross or cross hatching technique so the marker looks more smooth. I wanted their lips to be a little darker than their skin tone so I went in with Russet or TN8. Then for her bottom lip, I'm using MG2 or Bubblegum for like the inner part of her lip. Then I blend that with GB7 or Raw Sienna, and then it's going to be blended in with TN8 or Russet. For the deepest shadows on her skin, I am using TN8 and blending out with GB7. Here, I am using the flicking technique again with TN8 so GB7 can blend that out easier. And I'm making the lips look more natural by going over with GB7. Now I'm blending out those harsh shadows with GB7. And starting on the hair, I'm going in with TN8. I didn't necessarily choose a light source for this piece, so I'm just going in randomly with TN8 and making stripes and shadows wherever I feel looks best. For the most part, I was just keeping the shadows to the left of the locks of hair. And some more shadows. <laughs> I do this for a little while. More shadows. Still working with TN8. And finally, I am doing some more shading with GB7 and I'm ensuring that I leave some of my spaces white. You will see that I'm going to be doing the flicking motion so that my lightest color can blend into it easily. And more flicking. And here we go with my lightest color. I'm going in with TN1 to make the highlights really pop. The hair takes a little while, it's detailed. For the flowers, I let the ink of GB7 or Raw Sienna run into the tip of Sunshine or CT2 to get this nice ombre effect. This technique is what I call the tip to tip blending technique and it's kind of scary so I have an alternative method. And for this method, I blend GB7 out with TN1 then go over with CT2. And here I am just coloring over with CT2. For the pink flowers, I blend out TN8 with the GB7 and then I go over both of those with MG2. Since I have a limited amount of markers, I felt this was the best technique and color choice I had for the pink flowers. And here I'm just going over with MG2 over all these petals. I was very satisfied with how these were looking, so sorry the clip was so long. For the inner part of the flowers, I'm just going in with TN8. It's the darkest option I have and I thought it looked the best. I decided to make the scarf pink and white, so here I'm just going in with the base of the colorless blender. And then the shadows are being done with the BG2 marker or the brown gray marker. By doing the base of the colorless blender, it allows the brown gray marker to blend out a little bit easier into the white space. Blendy blendy those out. <laughs> Now I'm coloring in the rest of the scarf with bubble gum or MG2, and I like using the chisel nib because it covers a lot more space quickly. For the shadows of the pink spots, I'm using GB7, and I'm going to be blending that out with MG2. You might have to go back and forth a few times, it can be a little splotchy at first. Here's my first go around at blending that out, and I do go over it again to get a smoother blend. We're almost done! For the jacket, I go in with BG2 and I just do circular motions randomly all over the place to make it look fluffy. It's really fun. I love this. Here's how she looks colored with only the markers, but I go a little extra. I like to add some sparkle and highlights using a white pen or acrylic paint. I mean, look how sparkly she is. I love her. <laughs> Anyways, here's how she turned out and for a limited amount of supplies, I think she turned out really well and I hope you guys found this video helpful. Bye bye!